What is up, YouTubers? Daddy Cool here. Hey, did something really cool to my 64 bug. Wanted to share. I'll got to take a couple of videos or pictures tonight because it needs to be dark. But uh, let me show you what I did. I've always thought it would be a good idea and kind of cool to have third brake light in this deck vent. So you can kind of see a white PCB board strip in there. I did order black. They sent white, which kind of sucks, but it shouldn't be too noticeable from afar like that. Anyhow, I wired these today to the brake, to some brake wires. There's a bank of wires I have back here. And I did wire these in and they work and they look really cool. It illuminates the whole grill at night, makes this thing a lot safer because you can see how low this beetle slammed really low and on top of it, uh, even if it wasn't lowered, those lights are low and it's dangerous. Cars today are very tall and uh, people don't pay attention. So this should be proved to be hopefully a nice, excuse me, I just ate, nice safety feature. Um, but I'll take a couple shots of it. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I snaked it in. I ran a somewhat flexible wire through this grate all the way through, taped one end of the strip, yanked it all the way through, and then, I don't know if you can really get in there and see it, but there are wire ties in three different spots kind of tough to see. There it is, there's one. Where is that? In there. And then one down on this end too. Right Doop. there. So, holds it down pretty securely. Use some tape as well. It's a little sketchy of a fix, but I wanted to just get it wired up and looking right. Uh, if it turns out that this lasts pretty long, I will probably get black PCB board and rewire it in there just so it looks a little more slick. I might even do turn signals. So if I take a bank of maybe, I don't know, six lights on the left, six on the right, hook those up to the turn signals, that'll be really sweet. So let me know what you think. If you're planning on doing this, uh, get the 5050 chipset LED strips. They are going to be a little brighter than some of the other ones. I can't remember the other 2854. I don't remember the other designations, but the 5050s are good. 12 volt DC. You don't need a transformer. You can hardwire them directly. Uh, might be a good idea to put an inline fuse in. I did not do that, but... I can always add that later. Um, and uh, you got to tape up the end when you cut them or put some silicone putty or caulk, I guess you'd say, to waterproof it. But it's pretty sweet. I'll add uh, some footage and you can check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Here's the light set I bought. I got these on Amazon. I might have said eBay. <clears throat> but these were like 10 bucks for 16 and a half feet on Amazon. Uh, LED red strip. I don't know if there's any other designations on them, but it is a 50-50 strip. Uh, Temperature-wise, hopefully they'll hold up. Operating temperature, 60 degrees Celsius. It does get hot in the back of that bay. So we'll see. They're cheap enough and they were easy to run. So if they do, don't last long or they blow out, it's not a huge deal. So I just wanted to share that. All right, Max, step on that pedal. Okay, release. Step on it. Release. One more time. That looks good.